Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at setting up multiple tab rows in uh, Firefox. So let's get right into it. Let's open up a new window. And we're going to type about colon support. And then we're going to show in finder the uh, profiles folder and it, it, if you're on Mac you'll probably see two folders there and you want the one with all the stuff in it obviously and you can scroll through and see if you have a folder called Chrome yeah oddly enough uh, for some reason it's named Chrome not sure why but if you don't have that folder in there, what we're going to do is uh, create that folder inside of there. And uh, this process is the same for uh, Windows users. Okay, so uh, you can pretty much uh, more or less follow along what I'm doing here. You might run into some differences. But uh, since I don't have this Chrome folder here, I'm going to go ahead and create it. And now inside of this Chrome folder, we're going to uh, place a CSS file in there. I'm gonna have a link to this file in the description. So you can go ahead and just uh, download it from there. Uh, you can also get it directly from GitHub like I did. I'll provide the link, so it's up to you if you wanna go through GitHub or you can just download it from my link, entirely up to you. And we're gonna rename this to user Chrome dot CSS all right and once we've got that what we can do is open up another tab and we're gonna type about colon config and you'll be warned go ahead and proceed and then we have to pull up this uh, legacy toolkit and enable it just by uh, double clicking to make it true Okay, once that's done, we can go ahead and quit Firefox. And relaunch it. Now on my first trial here, you can see that for some reason it didn't work. Uh, let's go back into that profiles folder and figure out what actually happened what I got wrong here and I realized that I placed the Chrome folder in the top directory of that profiles folder it's not supposed to be there it's actually supposed to go inside of that uh, basically that uh, main folder there so uh, make sure you do that make sure you place that Chrome folder inside of it and that'll correct the problem I sort of overlooked that. Let's go ahead and relaunch Firefox. And there you go. You can see now that I have multiple uh, tabs here and they are in uh, three rows, uh, fairly large. You can also edit the CSS to make these tabs yeah, even, even larger. Uh, right now I think that their uh, maximum or their Minimum width is 100 uh, px. Uh, you can bump that up to like 150, and this way you'll get even larger tabs. The only thing that kind of changes in the way the tabs behave is that you don't have the X uh, appearing automatically. So what you have to do is actually click on the tab, and then you can close it, or you can just choose uh, to use the keyboard commands. You know, Command W or Control W on Windows. So that sums up this video. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.